Électricité de France SAEDF, Electricity of France is a French electric utility company, largely owned by the French state. Headquartered in Paris, with €71.2 billion Euros in revenues in 2016, EDF operates a diverse portfolio of 120 plus gigawatts of generation capacity in Europe, South America, North America, Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. In 2009, EDF was the world's largest producer of electricity. In 2011, it produced 22% of the European Union's electricity, primarily from nuclear power. Nuclear, 64.3%. Renewable energy, 12.3%, includes 4.6% hydroelectricity. Gas, 8.6%. Coal, 14.5%. Other, 0.3%, its 58 active nuclear reactors in France are spread out over 20 sites nuclear power plants. They comprise 34 reactors of 900 MWE, 20 reactors of 1300 MWE, and 4 reactors of 1450 MWE, all PWRs. In 2017 EDF took over the majority of the reactor business of Areva, in a French government-sponsored restructuring following financial and technical problems at Areva. In July 2017, France's environmental minister Nicolas Hulot stated that up to 17 of France's nuclear power reactors—all of which are operated by EDF could be shuttered by 2025 to meet legislative targets for reducing dependence on the power source. The EDF Group Activities EDF specializes in electricity, from engineering to distribution. The company's operations include the following, electricity generation and distribution, power plant design, construction and dismantling, energy trading, and transport. It is active in such power generation technologies as nuclear power, hydropower, marine energies, wind power, solar energy, biomass, geothermal energy and fossil-fired energy. <laughs> <laughs> Distribution network RTE and Endus. The electricity network in France is composed of the following A high and very high voltage distribution system 100,000 km of lines. This part of the system is managed by RTE electricity transmission system operator who acts as an independent administrator of infrastructure, although it is a wholly owned subsidiary of EDF. A low and medium voltage distribution system, 1,300,000 kilometers of lines, maintained by Endus XERDF, formerly known as EDF Gaz de France Distribution. Endus XERDF was spun off from EDF Gaz de France Distribution in 2008 as part of the process of total separation of the activities of EDF and GDF Suez. Organization Topic Head Office The EDF Head Office is located along Avenue de Wagram in the 8th arrondissement of Paris. The EDF Head Office is shared between several EDF sites in Greater Paris. The Directorate Chairman and CEO, Jean Bernard Levy Business Statistics 
Customers, 37.6 million worldwide in 2015. 2009 turnover, 63.34 billion euros, 23% from France, 41.82 billion euros in 2002. Profit, 3.96 billion euros in 2010, 3.96 billion euros in 2009. Net profit, 1 billion euros in 2010, 3.92 billion euros in 2009. Net debt, 34.4 billion euros in 2010, 42.5 billion euros in 2009. Revenue, 75 billion euros in 2015. Energy generation, 619.3 terawatt hours in 2015. Employees, 159,112 worldwide. Topic main partners and affiliates in Europe, United Kingdom, 100% EDF Energy, acquired British Energy Group plc, which generates about 20% of British electricity, mainly from eight nuclear plants, 100% EDF Trading Austria, 100% Vero, 20% Group Astag Belgium, 100% Luminous France, 100% of EDF Energy's Nouvelles which in turn owns EDF RE, formerly Enexco in US, 74.86% Electricité de Strasbourg, 67% Dalkia Investments, 51% Tiru, 50% Serga, 50% Adenkia, 50% Dalkia International, 50% SIIF Energies, 34% Dalkia HDG Germany, 100% EDF Ostalbkreis, 100% EDF F. Weinsberg, 50% RKI Hungary, 95, 56% BZRT, 100% Damas Italy, Edison SP, A, 99.4% of the capital, 100% EDF Energia Italia which sells directly 2.2 TWh to Italy, 100% EDF Fenice, 40% Fine, 30% IS the Netherlands, 100% Fenelix, 50% Synergy Holding Poland, 76.63% Rybnik, 66.08% EK, 49.19% ECW, 35.42% Cogenerazia, 24.61% Zilona Gora Slovakia, 49% SSE Spain, 100% EDF Iberica EDF Peninsula Iberica, SA Sweden, 100% Scandringcraft, 36.32% Group Granange Switzerland, 50% Chatelot, 50% Emosin, 14.25% Group Atel, 26.26% Motor Columbus Indiana America, United States, 100% EDF Inc., which controls fully or partially Unistar Nuclear Energy, 100%, EDF RE, formerly Enexco, 100%, EDF Trading North America, 100%, and Constellation Energy Nuclear Group, 50% through a joint venture with Exelon Argentina, 25% Edenor, 45% Sodemsa, 22.95% Adensa Brazil, 100% Lidial, 90% Norte Fluminense in Asia, China, 85% Synergy, 60% Figlec. 35% Dating San Mencia Power Company, 19.6% Shandong Zhonghua Power Company Vietnam, 56.25% Miko in Africa, Côte d'Ivoire, 50% Azito O&M, 32.85% Azito Energy History Topic. Status of EDF EDF was founded on 8 April 1946, as a result of the nationalization of around 1,700 smaller energy producers, transporters and distributors by the Minister of Industrial Production Marcel Paul. 
Mostly, a state-owned EPIC, it became the main electricity generation and distribution company in France, enjoying a monopoly in electricity generation, although some small local distributors were retained by the nationalization. This monopoly ended in 1999, when EDF was forced by a European directive to open up 20% of its business to competitors. Until 19 November 2004, EDF was a state owned corporation, but it is now a limited liability corporation under private law. Societe Anonyme, after its status was changed by statute. The French government partially floated shares of the company on the Paris Stock Exchange in November 2005, although it retained almost 85% ownership as of the end of 2008. On the 22nd of November 2016, French competition regulators raided EDF offices, looking for evidence that EDF was abusing its dominant position to manipulate electricity prices and squeeze rivals. Topic. Finances Between 2001 and 2003, EDF was forced to reduce its equity capital by €6.4 billion Euros total because of the performance of subsidiaries in South America and Europe. In 2001, it also acquired a number of British energy companies, becoming the UK's biggest electricity supplier. The company remains heavily in debt. Its profitability suffered during the recession, which began in 2008. It made €3.9 billion Euros in 2009, which fell to €1.02 billion Euros in 2010, with provisions set aside amounting to €2.9 billion. Euros. In January 2013, EDF sold its 1.6% stake in U.S. utility Exelon for €470 million. In March 2016, EDF's chief financial officer, Thomas Pacamel, who had argued that the final investment decision on building Hinkley Point C nuclear power station should be delayed for three years, resigned. With EDF's market value halved over the preceding year, the cost of the Hinkley Point C project now exceeded the entire market capitalization of EDF. In March 2017, EDF offered a €4 billion Euros rights issue of new shares to increase capital availability, at a 34.5% discount. The French government committed to purchase €3 billion Euros of the rights issue. Shares prices fell to an all-time low due to the heavy discount on new shares. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Energy policy. France is the world's largest user of nuclear power for electricity, 78% of French production in 2007. In May, 2004, the French interior minister Nicolas Sarkozy reasserted, in front of the French parliament, the primacy of a nuclear power, much to the relief of labor unions of EDF. In this speech the minister re-phrased the famous slogan, We do not have oil, but we have ideas, by declaring, we do not have oil, we do not have gas, we do not have coal, but we had ideas. Depleted uranium from reprocessing the spent fuel of the 58 French nuclear power plants was exported from Le Havre to Russia in the last years and stored in Seversk where it was enriched, and the new fuel was exported back to France. In 2013, EDF acknowledged the difficulties it was having building the new EPR nuclear reactor design, with its head of production and engineering, Hervé Machineau, saying EDF had lost its dominant international position position in design and construction of nuclear power stations. In September 2015 EDF's chief executive Jean-Bernard Levy stated that the design of a new model EPR was being worked on, which will be easier to build, to be ready for orders from about 2020. In 2016, EDF's chief executive Jean Bernard Levy stated that EDF's 2030 strategy increased the emphasis on renewable energy, with a 2030 goal of doubling renewable energy capacity worldwide. He stated, 
I am convinced that we will still have a centralized and secure system in the future but it will be supplemented by a more intermittent and local decentralized system, in which customers will take charge of their consumption. In readiness for this, we must press on with research into electricity storage and smart electricity systems. Topic. EDF spying conviction In 2011, a French court fined EDF 1.5 million euros and jailed two senior employees for spying on Greenpeace, including hacking into Greenpeace's computer systems. Greenpeace was awarded €500,000 in damages. Although EDF claimed that a security firm had only been employed to monitor Greenpeace, the court disagreed, jailing the head and deputy head of EDF's nuclear security operation for three years each. Two employees of the security firm, Cargus, run by a former member of France's Secret Services, received sentences of three and two years respectively. Topic. DDoS attack on EDF site EDF's website was brought down by DDoS attacks three times in 2011, twice in April and once later in June. The attacks were claimed by the hacktivist group Anonymous. Three men were later arrested and interviewed on charges of obstructing functionality of a data processing service fraudulent access of a data processing service", and "...participation to an association formed with the aim of preparing such infractions". Motivations for the attack were thought to relate to the Fukushima nuclear accident in Japan. Unlike Switzerland and Germany, who plan to close down all nuclear reactors at the end of their lifespan, the government of France had no such plans to move away from nuclear power and three months after the Fukushima meltdown, stated a budget increase for nuclear power, the downtime of the EDF website cost the company an estimated €162,000. Suing no dash for gas In February 2013 EDF Energy sought an estimated £5 million in damages from environmental activists from the no dash for gas campaign that occupied the EDF-owned West Burton CCGT power station in October 2012. It is unusual in the UK for companies to seek damages from protesters. On 13 March 2013, EDF dropped their lawsuit against the protesters, after agreeing a permanent injunction against protesters entering EDF sites. <laughs> Absorption of Areva reactor business In 2017 EDF will take over the majority of the reactor business of Areva, excluding the fuel business, in a French government-sponsored restructuring following financial and technical problems at Areva due to the building of new EPR nuclear plants. The reactor business has been named Framatome. Topic: <laughs> Renewable energies. Topic: Plug-in hybrids and V2G. EDF has developed recharging points for the Toyota plug-in HV in France. The French government has contributed $550 million to a partnership by Electricité de France with Renault-Nissan and with PSA Peugeot-Citroën. Topic. Photovoltaics In 2018 EDF had plans to invest up to €25 billion Euros in photovoltaics solar power generation, and introduce green electricity tariffs. Topic. 
Topic: Carbon intensity. Topic: Competitors. As of 2017, EDF still held the business of 85.5% of France's residential customers, though on a slow downward trend. Main competitors Apart from the producers and foreign distributors, in France, there are some important companies, which, although their market share is weak with regard to that of EDF, are a significant competition. These are Engie, the company formed after the merger of Gaz de France and Suez clearly intends to produce its own electricity, has bought stake in the future EPR nuclear reactors and is poised to become the most credible competitor of EDF in the newly liberalized French electricity market. SNET Société Nationale d'Electricité et de Thermique, this company is the successor of depleting coal companies and primarily produce thermal electricity 2, 5 TWh. Its capital 81% belonged predominantly to collieries of France and with EDF. A portion of the capital was sold to Endesa, the main Spanish electricity producer, another portion of 35% was sold in 2004. As of 2008 Endesa holds 65% of the equity of the generating company Snet. CNR Company Nationale du Rhone, the capital of which is predominantly public, the company exploits 19 hydroelectric plants installed on the banks of the Rhone. Its production of 19 TWh makes it the second largest French producer with 4% of the market. CNR signed a partnership agreement with Electrobel a Belgian subsidiary of Suez. Chem Société Hydroelectrique du Midi, a subsidiary of SNCF, of which it produces about one third of the electricity used by SNCF. A partnership agreement was signed with Electrobel. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Locally controlled or between local councils. Among the other rivals of EDF, one can count a number of municipally governed companies, known under the generic term entreprises locales de distribution, local businesses of distribution, who are electricity producers exploiting EDF's network. The nationalization of electricity and gas on 8 April 1946, which profoundly changed the French electrical and gas organization, had however acknowledged the right of villages to keep their role in the public distribution of electricity and gas. In 1946, certain firms, villages or groups of villages, did not accept the proposal of nationalization and created autonomous state controls who held the monopoly of distribution, until 2004, in their area. To note, contrary to the initial idea, local controllers of electricity, have had, since 1946, the choice to continue to produce electricity. In fact, their production was rather marginal, except in Rhone Alps, having often preferred buying the majority of the electrical power from EDF. With the recent opening of the electricity market, local controllers are considering developing, augmenting and diversifying their own production, e.g. West Energy, the subsidiary company of SIEDS and or to diversify their sources of supply. To date, the number of local businesses of distribution is approximately 170 and holds 5% of the distribution of French electrical power in 2,500 villages. Created by local authorities, they serve about 3 million people and represent 7,000 jobs. Around 30 of them nine during creation in 1962 are federated in a national entity known as ANROC. Several departments are not therefore served entirely or partly by EDF, for instance 
Der Sevres, supplied by SIEDS, labor union between local councils of electricity of Der Sevres. VN, supplied by SIEEDV, labor union between local councils of electricity and works of the Department of EN. Charente Maritime, supplied by SDEER, Labor Union of Electricity and Rural Works of the Department of Charente Maritime Gironde, supplied by Gironde Electricity. However, the company was sold to EDF at the beginning of 2000 because it could not financially maintain the damage of the severe weather of December 1999, on its network Alsace Rhone Alps Topic. See also List of French companies Energy in France Group Intra